The role of the fleet manager keeps changing and the role becomes more strategic all the time. How has the role of the fleet manager changed? I mean, I've been in the industry for 24 years and I've seen a lot of change. Um, and change sometimes has a negative in, uh, connotation to it. People hear change and they get worried about it, what they may be. Change is an opportunity as well. Change can be positive if it's well thought out and there's some direction to it. And that's what I see the role of the fleet manager changing through the years. Um, why should they be tactical anymore? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have organizations, in, at, not just with wheels, but for all the fleet management companies. We can do tactical well, and we can actually take on and do more of the strategic consultation for you very well. So the role of the fleet manager is managing us. Manage wheels so that we can manage your fleet and allow you to manage by exception, manage by reporting, manage by insights we, we deliver to you, on some, you know, on some online tools so that you can get an overview of your fleet but you don't have to run the fleet. And that is a key important role for the fleet manager to play uh, in order to make sure that they stay strategic and they give the, us the insights on how their business needs are changing. We can, we can run a fleet but that core person, the fleet manager, needs to be there to help make sure that they are the liaison between their management and deliver the tools that we need in order to deliver results that's specific to their fleet needs. And I think it's a very key role. The fleet manager's position will always be there and it will just become a higher and higher, more strategic role, which we see constantly, especially through the events at AFLA and NAFA, to make sure that people are staying on their strategic edge.